field that I've been sort of much pushing over the course of many years is what I now call ruleology, the study of simple computational rules and what they do, things like cellular automata, Turing machines, things like that. Computation, as I see it abstractly, is you have a set of rules and then you just work out the consequences of, of using those rules. So for example, you might have rules that say, if you have a, a line of cells, each one is black or white, and the rule says, based on the color of a cell ne next to a given position, color that next cell black or white, let's say. And you just keep running that rule. You run it millions of times. What do you get? What I thought when I started doing this back at the beginning of the 1980s was, if the rule was simple enough, the pattern you would get would be somehow correspondingly simple. Mm. I was wrong. Mm. I mean, doing the actual experiments is kind of like turn this telescope out into the computational universe and see what's out there. What's out there is even very simple rules that produce incredibly complicated behavior, mm. which was a big surprise to me. I mean, I didn't believe it for a couple of years, actually, after I first discovered that. Then I realized it's kind of, it seems to be sort of a key trick that nature uses to make complicated stuff. Even though the rules are simple, the kind of outcome of those rules is not so simple. So that's, that's kind of the ruleology is the study of what do those simple rules actually end up doing. Mm. So, you know, we're used to computer programs that we write for particular purposes. I want to write this program for some thing that I'm trying to do. What ruleology is really about is computation in the wild, so to speak. Mm. That is, you just have this program, you just enumerating all possible programs. You try program number one, program number two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's the natural science of computation, so to speak.